Okay, good evening, welcome to you. Math task number 52. Math task number 52. So this is an interesting question that you um, took from your uh, algebra book this morning. What are you studying in algebra right now? Uh, I'm on the review problems of percents and ratios. Review problems of percents and ratios. And the problem went something like this. You have two egg cartons. One has 20% red eggs, the second one has 25% red eggs. Yeah. If the one that has 25% red eggs has three times as many eggs as the first one, is that how it works? Yeah, the second one has three times as many eggs as the first. The second one, so the one that has 25% yeah. eggs has three times, eggs. three times as many eggs. Yeah, as the first. Three times as many eggs as the first, or three times as many red eggs? Three times as many eggs. Okay, then what's the total percent of eggs that are red? Okay, this is a good problem. So, what I did is I picked values for the number of eggs. Okay. So I picked first one and 20 eggs. And the second one would have 60 eggs, so we would have 20%, it would be, um, um, 4 eggs that are 4 red eggs. And one with 60 would have a fourth of them be red eggs, so they would have 15 red eggs. So. Alright, well how did you calculate that there were four red eggs in the ones that had 20? Well, 20 is one, 20% is one fifth. Okay, good. Yeah, so. Now we have um, let's see, we have 80 total eggs, so it's going to be over 80, and 4 plus 15 is, so we have 19 out of 80 are red eggs. Ooh, 19 out of 80. And we want to turn this into something that is something over 100, uh -huh. but we don't know what that is. No, we don't. So, to get from 80 to 100, we have to multiply by 10 and divide by 8. So, multiply by 10 would get us to 800, and then dividing by 8 would get us to 100. And we do that in a convenient form of 1. Okay. So, let's erase. Well, you don't need to make it that, that hard, because n is going to be our percent, right? So maybe you could just multiply both sides by 100 and see what you get. Um, okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So what does n equal? So, we have 1,900 um, 1, over 8,000. How did you get that? Well, we add the two zeros to both. Of them. Well, okay, so let's let's be careful because I think I interrupted how you were thinking. So I want to just get this to say n equals, right? Yeah. So what do I need to do? Well, if you mul um, mul multiply both sides by 100 and you would get something equals n. Okay, right. So n, and what's n going to equal? What is 100 times 19 over 80? So. That would be um night it would be so night so it would be twenty twenty that the twenty cancels through both of them. Okay, so you're going to cancel out a 20, and what's that going to leave on the, out of the 100? Uh, f 5. And what's it going to leave from the 80? Mm, 4. Okay. So... 5 over 4 times 19. That would be... Mm, um, 8 would be... 9... 
So tell me this. Tell, tell me this is a fraction. What is five fourths times nineteen? Tell me that is a fraction. Um, five. It would be um, ninety-five fourths. All right, ninety-five over four. Which? So let's see if we can figure out what that equals. So. What's the nearest multiple? Well, we, we just can multiply by 4 over 4 here. I know. It wouldn't work. So, 90 5. This is going to be a mixed number. Yeah, yeah, it sure will. So, what's the nearest multiple of 4? What's the nearest easy multiple of 4 here? Well, 100. Okay. And then subtract away 8. It's 92. Okay. But you can get to 96. Yeah, you can get to 96. So what would, a hundred, what would 96 over 4 be? 4 times 20, that would be 24. Okay, so what's 95 over 4? Um, that would be 23 and 3 fourths. There you go, 23 and 3 fourths. Yeah. And that's our percent. 23 and 3 fourths percent. 23 and 3 fourths percent. Pretty cool, yeah. huh? Alright, now I'm going to show you a different way to do the problem. Okay. Okay.